Why is Ethereum continuing its uptrend now? I'm going to explain why, but first please like and subscribe and check us down below for our CT Club where you get our portfolio updates and all that good stuff. All right, so also before I begin, I wanna to explain to you why I'm really bullish on Bitcoin. I know that I do this a lot, but I seriously am so bullish on Bitcoin. Okay, the Fed was supposed to end its QE, which is quantitative easing, which is another name for currency printing. Um, and they, they promptly expanded their balance sheet by $43 billion in one week to a new record of $8.954 trillion. But they're really concerned about inflation, right? No, they're, they're buying mortgage-backed securities and all this stuff. They are not concerned whatsoever about inflation. And it's just like, you don't have to guess anymore. It's not a conspiracy theory or anything. You know, the Fed is not working for your benefit, unless you're in crypto, then they're just, they're doing a, you a great service. All right, so Ethereum 2.0 was, okay, so 2.0 means uh, Ethereum is moving from proof of work to proof of stake, okay? So, um, yeah, th this is going to hopefully create a faster network and a more efficient network. Okay, so let's see what Joe Lubin had to say. Okay, Ethereum 2.0 coming in Q2, Q2 of this year will lay, lay to rest energy concerns. Okay, despite delays, Joe Lubin stands by his estimate that Ethereum 2.0 will arrive in Q2 or possibly going into Q3 this year, which is way faster than I thought they would ever uh, do. I, I, I thought actually it would probably go into next year, but we'll see. All right. So what is Ethereum 2 like kind of the, the nitty gritty of it? Okay. So Ethereum 2.0 will bring about several key changes, namely creating an environment where shard chains and roll-up technologies can increase the speed of transactions as well as lowering costs in theory. So Really interesting. I hope that works. I, it would be really fun to get into DeFi and not have to spend ridiculous amounts of money on, on gas fees. And I'm sure all of you guys are pretty excited about that too, considering nine out of 10 DeFi projects are in Ethereum. And um, okay, so also lastly, with Ethereum or crypto in general, now I'm gonna point this out. This is, I'm not, I don't care about the article and I don't really care about the, the organization of Time Magazine, okay? But I'm gonna tell you why it's so significant. So Vitalik Buterin is on the cover of Time Magazine, and why is this so significant? I don't even need to read the article. It's, it's meaningless, essentially, coming from Time. But I've, I can tell you right now that the whole world is going to wake up to crypto. When they see something crypto-wise on the front cover of Time Magazine, a lot of people are gonna rush into it. It's gonna bring more billionaires in, in, into this space, and it's gonna bring a lot of retail into it. And I think this is going to spur Ethereum as well um, and, and, and the crypto space. Bitcoin obviously has to turn up for the rest of the crypto space to go in, but it's gonna be interesting to see like if, if Ethereum actually leads the market eventually. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. But I've been bullish on Ethereum. Uh, our CT club, which, which gets our trade alerts, knows that I've been buying the dips, like dollar cost averaging into Ethereum. And uh, it's paid out really great, you know? I mean, we got in at, I think, pretty much the bottom of this local, local bottom, so, which is great. Um, and, and I'm gonna continue doing that because I realize that Ethereum is not going away, even though a lot of people say it is going away. Uh, you know, uh, just look at the NFT space. You know, the, the top ones, Ethereum. You know, you have like uh, the, the board apes, you have all these other things. I think that, you know, if you continue holding these things, you could actually be rewarded and continually be rewarded. Anyways, that's all I have today. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.